Why did you want to start Valade Baseball Academy? Uh, I think it was important for us to deliver the message we have in the game of baseball as wide reaching as we can. Uh, there's a lot of great things that are going to happen on Valade Baseball Academy. There's a lot of things that I've experienced along the way in my career that I want to share and it just felt like it was time. Who was your favorite player growing up and why? Easy question. Number 23 for the New York Yankees, Don Mattingly. He was my hero. Loved the way that he played the game. He was a first baseman. He hit left-handed. I hit right-handed. But I wore number 23 in high school in honor of Donnie Baseball. Never had a chance to meet him, but love you, Donnie. What was it like when your son's name was called in the 2017 Major League Baseball Draft? Wow, what a moment. Um, dream come true for Ryan. Dream come true for the family. Uh, very excited. We were so happy he went to the Colorado Rockies an amazing organization with great people. A moment I'll never forget. When did you first know that you wanted to have a career in baseball? I think when I was five. It was probably when I took the field for the first time in Gladstone, New Jersey, put on a, uh, a uniform top, which was a t-shirt and a, a trucker hat with a GP on it, a pair of blue jeans and went after it. And from that moment on, I just I fell in love with the game of baseball and it's been with me ever since. Who has had the most impact on you as a coach? You know what, it's gotta be my wife. She's hung with me through thick and thin, through job changes, through professional baseball, college baseball. So I'd have to say Jennifer is my biggest influence. Coach, how tall are you? Six, two. What are your favorite baseball memories as a child? My favorite baseball memories, playing wiffle ball with my brothers. Hours after hours after hours. We played wiffle ball together anywhere we could. That was a blast. What's my favorite movie? It's gotta be Bull Durham, baseball classic. What's your biggest life obstacle to date? For me, it's having a learning disability. I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was 14 years old, and it's one of those things that I knew it wasn't gonna go away, but I know I could make my life better and my studies better and become a better person through working hard and learning how my brain works. Uh, I know there's a lot of youth out there that have dyslexia, and you know, you just gotta keep persevering and pushing through it and find great people to help you along the way. That's what I did. Hey, I just wanted to thank everybody for reaching out with your questions. Please keep them coming. We're having a lot of fun here at Belayed Baseball Academy and there's more to come. We'll see you soon.